Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. While doing some research on the lookup function, I discovered something about the previous value that I wanted to show with you guys. We've got right now, we've got the lookup example showing, and let me show you what that formula looks like. You're just going one row up, sum of sales, one row up. And that ref that's referencing one row up, the sales column, just like we were expecting. Let me show you what happens when you look at the previous. Here's the previous value, very similar, no offset, have the sum of sales. We're gonna bring that over. This references the first value in the, in the sum of sales, and then it's referencing its own column. It's referencing the previous value in that column, whereas lookup, is still referencing the sales column. After the first row, previous is gonna be looking at itself. And this is where it becomes really powerful is when you start doing some compounding. Let me show you the formula for what this next one is. We're gonna take the previous value times 1.5. Bring that over. And now the growth is 1.5 over the previous row, which is what we were expecting to see. You know, one and a half times gets you to 12. Now, if we use the similar formula on the lookup, lookup sales 1.5, this behaves very differently. This is actually referencing the previous sales value and taking that times 1.5. It's referencing this way, whereas previous can reference within itself or only references within itself. And that's a powerful distinction between the two and one that I thought I would share with you. If there's other things that you'd like to see, please leave a comment and let me know. I'm always looking for good ideas.